You may notice we have a man down over here. <laughs> that that is... I'm currently sitting on. Well, you shouldn't be. So and, my... Oh, by the way, I also found grunge underwear. And no piggies are underwear, but I found grunge, surprisingly. It, it was a good omen. So <laughs> these, this is a husky, and I was feverishly looking for something, and it toppled down. Luckily, I wasn't hurt. Luckily, Mo is not allowed to touch them, so he's never in danger. I definitely think I need, because I do have too many piggies. The piggies were just like, right? Now, the problem is... Um, I can't lift it myself. I tried two times, which I shouldn't have. So I'm waiting for uh, Elliot to help me with it. However, uh, I only have, I can only get to certain paints, right? Because a lot of my paints are here. This is my Amsterdam drawer. So I figured this is the perfect. Amsterdam, da -na -na -na, Amsterdam. I like the song. Um, so luckily, I've been wanting to get into the Dutch pour again. And... I've been really wanting to try this color combo. So I have my brand new bottle of Flo. Uh, a trod, if you didn't know. Flo a troll. A troll. Yeah, Flo a troll. Uh, and I have my cute little cap so I don't get any schmoozies in there. I got oh, one. by the way, like and subscribe. We're on the way to 30. Thousand. Thousand. Probably about my birthday. So my goal is because my birthday is February 20th. And I'm pretty close. I wonder if I can get to 30K for my B day. My 30th B day. It's not true. Don't tell them how old I am. Just kidding. You can. Um, she's. I don't even know. 45. She's only 45. I am. You just spat in my eye with your germs, but that's fine because I'm getting sick anyways, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now let's discuss what we're doing. Certain things. Obviously, when you want to go do a Dutch pour or a blowout, you go watch Canela, okay? For all of her measurements. Canela is great. Canela is great. Uh, however, I, in this kind of disaster, I saw my scale at a certain point, but now I can't find it. Um, so her measurements are pretty particular in terms of ounces, which you need to scale. I'm going to- Messy Melvin. By the way, in her mixing video, I watched and I laughed because she squoze the paint and it went, Pfft, okay? And she was dying because she was, it was a mess and I laughed. Probably died laughing. Died laughing. <laughs> so number two, I don't have regular squeezy bottles because I, I use them all. So Fluid Art has two kinds of squeezy bottles. They By the way, Fluid Art, amazing. Obviously. Um, they have these harder bottles, okay? Which I've used for which I haven't posted yet because I'm not sure what to do with them, but I'm, I was working with watered down acrylics on um, canvases and they also have more regular squeezy bottles, but I don't have any of those. I want to tell you something and I'm not naming any names. Fluid art bottles are precise exact measurements. There are other bottles who I will not name uh, because that, they... Be, that are not, okay? Just saying that. If you want an actual accurate measurement of milliliters and ounces, because they made sure to measure precisely in certain ways, fluid art bottles. Now, so I'm gonna use their exact measurements to fill it up. So, Canela's recipe is something like 80 grams of Floetrol to 25 grams of paint to 25 grams of water. Now, we're not doing that, okay? I forgot to mention the reason I'm not following her recipe is because I want a bit of a thicker one to see how the cells would hold up. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill it up to 180 because 180 can be divided by three. So I am going to do 60 milliliters of paint and the, up then the rest flow draw. So 60 milliliters of paint to 120 milliliters of Floetrol. Now remember, I'm only using these measurements just because I have these small bottles. Let's okay. talk about colors. I'm really excited about these colors. Okay, and we're gonna make certain custom colors as well. Let's start with the base of the inspiration, okay? Um, this is Matisse Aqua Green Light. Now there are many other brands which I can't get to, which you can do like, um, golden cobalt teal okay it's pretty similar even this uh turquoise green amsterdam is pretty similar this is a bit deeper so i'm going to use this now i'm wondering actually come come to think of it because this is fluid it's not going to be as thick as the other paints although it is an opaque 
but maybe to be safe, I should just use this. Okay, we're gonna be safe today. I'm gonna just use this, okay? Lisa. So Lisa likes to be safe. Okay. Na, 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 now, the vision is, let me just show you what's happening first and then I'll continue. Uh, I'm gonna use Floret, this is Liquitex Wash. You can use gouache in your pouring medium. It's a different type of paint and has different type of fillers. This actually works great as a cell activator too, which I actually, many years ago when I started blooming, I used this as cell activator all the time and I loved it. This is one of my old school favorite colors, okay? Let's Watch to the end of the video to hear some spoilers about the 30 million song. Did you just make something up? I'm 30,000 spot? 30, 30, oh, I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna get to 30 million. <laughs> Next color, which is such a rare thing for me, is this Azo Orange, okay? Do you see where I'm going? Very tropical. Of course, we need our gold. Mo, can you come here and hold these for me? Oh, yes, ma'am. Like this? <laughs> like all three? This is why This is why she has me. Exactly, okay, good. Hold yeah, okay. Then we're obviously going Extreme Sheen. Now, let's- Extreme machine. Extreme machine. And then let's talk about two custom colors I'm gonna make. So keep these in mind. So I wanted a very light pink, which I couldn't, I couldn't get to in that one. So we're going permanent red violet with some white and lightening, here, keep it in frame. Yeah, lightening it up. And I wanted deep, if I had my drawers, I would do um, Australian red violet, like a very deep. So like this, but deeper. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this permanent red violet and I'm adding some violet ink to it. So let's get to mixing. Can I please put this down? Yes. Okay, so I ha laid these bottles out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill them first up to 120 milliliters. It's gonna be funny because I don't have a funnel of any sort so that this isn't gonna like work very well to get in this little hole okay i don't know i've never even poured out of this thing uh okay here we go okay all right it's not so bad okay let's start with the turquoise green now i'm gonna assume for thinner paints like this gold i might not although this can be thick i'm not gonna add quite as much so if i was adding like a liquid i would add less because i don't want to thin that down too much i'm guessing i don't know okay so i am going to pour this into make it 180 mils are you ready <clears throat> 180 mils 180 mils i can see why she it's gonna be quite thick i can see why she adds water i might and that's good too. I, I have room to add water if I need to. Um, God, you know the one thing, so funny, you know how people complain about how much things cost and piggies cost or whatever? Like they don't realize making Dutch pours, you use so much paint. It's like unbelievable. Yeah. And no one like bats an eye, but this is what, like seven, eight bucks? And for a Dutch pour, you use it two or three times, it's done, you know? That's my little. I feel like we should have a revolution. A revolution? On, du on Dutch poles. I and love it. paint cheap. Okay, you can start it. Okay, so I'm just going to shake, shake, shake and see the consistency. We probably need to piss off Canela. Oh, 100%. So, can you do me a favor? I think there's some empty tiles on the floor right in front of me up there. If you can get one, we can do a drip test. I'm not sure. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't watch the whole I video. Did. Yeah, perfect to see what kind of consistency we're looking for, which I probably should have, but whatever. Mom ha didn't have to even leave. I know, yes. I, I have the best um, person to help me. Okay, I mean, this seems pretty, what a pretty color. Okay, are you ready? The problem with a drip test is the way that I measure paints is when it's in the cup, because I know what it's supposed to look like in the cup. When I was with Canela, what I noticed was it looks like the thickness of my cell activator. Um, that's what it's supposed to look like. So I don't really know. Hmm. Let me try this. So if I do a circle, one, two. So it's a little thicker than what I think, and that's why I'm gonna probably add a few drops of water, okay? So with this concoction, you know what, Mo? Will you fill this up with water for me? Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, this is the best. So what I'm gonna do with that is, um, I am going to add 
not that much water, really just a few drops to see because this is about the consistency probably of my bloom pouring medium and we know that's pretty thick. Now keep in mind, these opaque paints and especially turquoise really thicken up your pouring medium a lot, okay? So <clears throat> I'm not going to necessarily have this much of a problem with this orange because this is semi. Thank you, Sophie. So I just filled up this little guy with water. I filled it up. I filled it up, just kidding. <laughs> okay, and we are going to do some drops. Mom didn't have to get up this whole session. One, two, three. Now you wanna be careful with adding water because um, scientifically, you don't want to add up more than 10% of water uh, to Mom, your mix. We're not about, these are not about, it's not about science. But you do have to kind of pay attention to certain things or else you're in trouble. Because if you add more than 10% of water to your paint, it starts to break it down. But in this month, then, all of we're not that. No. Sensitive to science. Well, sometimes we are. Some things we are, it's like we kind of pick and choose. Because I don't want to break my paints down. I'm still shaking. Okay, I'm gonna do another well, you know puddle vanilla test. Or, mm -hmm. Not vanilla or Mitchell. Mitchell is the ultimate scientist. Guys, actually, go please follow Rain and Pores immediately. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna hey, do the drip test. Hello. Hi, Uncle Mitchell. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, I'm doing the drip test. The drip One. test. So I like how it falls better, okay? Um, definitely made a difference. I like it much better. It, it's about, it's a little over one second. I could thin it out a bit more if I wanted to, but I'm going to wait to see about the other paints, okay? okay so one second, so I'm gonna go with this now. Now, I don't know if I have enough paint in here to even get it up to 180, but let's see, we're gonna do our best, okay? I love this color, are you ready? Okay, so I'm going to do another test right here. I'm not gonna do the drip test, I'm actually gonna do my circle test just because that's, Kind of what works for me. So it's quite nice, and you see how it how it moves. So again, it could use a few drops of water. Um, a couple drops, like not too much. Yeah, I'm gonna and I'm gonna go back to this. I'm gonna do like a couple of drops in each one, but it is thinner than this. Aren't the colors pretty so far? To the orange now. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Where? Werewolf. We are gonna fill it to 180 and add water because we already know water needs is needed. Okay, are you ready? Some yes, yeah. see this? I like it. So if I have six parts of paint, okay, to 18 parts of Floetrol, I have one part of water, okay? You know this mask is gonna kill me. Okay, let's get to the extreme sheen, shall we? Extreme lean machine. Extreme lean machine. Okay, I'm shaking it up because you know it's quite, um, quite. I used the whole bottle though. Down the tubes, good thing they're like only a couple bucks, right? Okay, here we go. See this consistency here? Oops, I always forget there's a little bit of, yeah, see this? is the perfect consistency of what I'm looking for and I didn't have to add water. So that's something to keep in mind as well, okay? So let us now um, do our custom. So, hmm, I'm not sure how much, so with this, I'm gonna add five parts of this and one part of the zinc white I'm using zinc white because really that's all I had. Meanwhile, let's add this one, our final one, and we're gonna make it deeper. Okay, permanent red and violet. I'm gonna go, and because I'm just adding ink, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some of my violet ink. Okay, okay. this color's nice. Holy bajolies. Holy you know what would look great actually? Adding an interference to this. Uh, like a turquoise interference and making it like, you know how I did a long time ago, a velvety magenta? How cool would that be? Hmm. Oh, I can't get to it. It's in this drawer. Buggers. Okay, let's see the consistency of this. Let's see how we did. 
Oh yeah, oh, I feel a little watery. Hold on. Oh, no, it's pretty good. I like it. Let's check the consistency of this. And then I'm gonna actually do a swatch. What's a swatch? A swatch is seeing, yes, good. Okay, let's watch us see if the color's good. All right, let's do our drip test. I think I'm happy, and I think I'm happy with this color. Okay, so I've decided we need a dark blue in here, and luckily I found this golden interference blue. I don't know if it's gonna work. It should work because I've used um, this Prussian blue, and it's transparent, so it may not dull this much. I'm not sure. Um, so let's see. I've put in already the measurements of my 120 Floetrol to six paint to one water. And I'm just gonna squeeze this in, okay? I don't know. Oh, it's new. Let me take off the top. How fun. And then I'm not gonna show you mixing the base paint, but then you're gonna have to stay tuned to what I do. Hope it's not ugly, don't you? Do you see where Mo gets his singing from? Okay, ready? Yeah, squeeze. Again, I can't really see the numbers anymore, but it doesn't matter. I really, you might see like a slight shimmer, but we don't know. And then we're gonna do a full drip test to see what we think of the colors. Now, you'll notice it's not, there's no sparkle except for my gold, which might be hard for me, but we'll see, right? Okay. Open this up, close it up, and we will do our little drip test. I mean, our circle test, okay? And here we go, oh, wait, okay. Yeah, that looks nice to me. There's, there's like a slight shimmer. I, you know what, why don't I put more? Right, we got nothing to lose. I'm not sure if we're gonna see it. You know, putting in a piggy might work better, but I actually don't have any available because they've all drowned to the side there till I pick them up. Uh, so we're just gonna squeeze this whole thing in, right? Because why not have a little sparkle somewhere? So let's talk about these colors. Um, I'm actually kind of liking it. The blue, I know it's like on top, so it looks crazy. I'm actually probably gonna layer it down first as a base. Um, so it's not gonna be so front and center. You know what I mean? So, I'm shaking it up real good. Okay. And let's see how I did here. I'm just, now I'm just, oops, I'm just checking for the sparkle and then we'll do the trick. Oh yeah, that's a little bit more. Okay, let's do the actual real color swatch and drip test. So I'm gonna start with this blue. Um, how would I do it? Okay, let me just look, cause you know, layering for the Dutch pour is different. So you wanna put the gold in the middle and you wanna put it over a dark color. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in between here and cause you do wanna go dark light dark. And I think, yep, this is what we're doing. I, I, want, I want the this to really be noticeable, but I don't want it to like super take over. Okay, so this, what do you think? Okay, so let's layer so you can see. We're gonna go. Uh, yeah. And I do see a bit of that shine, which is nice. Okay. Then we're gonna go. Ooh. These bottles, again, like I said, they're not like the best for squeezing, squeezing, because they're a little harder. They're really good for um, other things, but not necessarily, they're not bad. It's just like, oh, actually they're pretty good. Oh, this looks quite thick. Um, okay. This, this looks nice, okay. 
Now again, they're gonna look different once they're blown out. But I think they'll be pretty, no? Yeah. So you know I'm not really an orange person and it's like throwing me off a little bit, but I know in the mix, um, it will look nice, hold on, so you can see. Hold your horses, let me make this look pretty for you. Okay, so here you go. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it gonna be good? Did you like this mixing video? I do like these um, consistencies. I think, let me get this a little bit of the glue off. I think it's gonna be good. So stay tuned. I definitely love this. Like if we cover this part, um, I know that's gonna work, but I do need like a little bit of dark and interest in there too. So let me know what you guys think and tune in to the next video um, to see what I make of this. Have a good day, bye. I just want to show you, I mixed up my white. So I used this big cup, okay? And what I did was a three to one. So I did, I filled up the flow trial to 900 milliliters and then the white, and then I squeezed some water in. Now I wanna show you what I mean by one second, okay? One, two, sink. So this is a little too thick from what I remember. Do so you see how it stays up? One, it's hard to see, let's see. One, two, sink. So I am gonna add a bit more water um, to thin it out because I only want it up for one second. So I'll get back to you when I finish mixing this. Okay, let's see how I did. One, let's see. I'm kind of looking at the camera while I'm doing it, but this is better to me. One, sink okay one sink let's see i'm gonna try to get it eye level one sink almost i mean it's still a little thick but i'm not going to be like crazy about it but you get the idea of how i don't know if the circle method is easier for you for me that's how i measure everything so you can see it stands up one sink one sink anyways i hope it's that Oops, that helps. Guys, stay tuned for Sunday. I'm going to release the second part of the video where we go in-depth of how to mouth blow these Dutch pours and what to look for.